Hey, what's up guys? This is day number 19 for the Cocktober Reviews. And this is a film called Pusher. It came out in 1996 and it was recommended by Dante from the Stone Swede. This is his username here on YouTube and Dante's a cool guy. Go check his channel out. And yeah, man, I watched this movie today finally and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I, I wish I had seen this back when I was a kid, back when this thing came out. I'm not a kid, a teenager. I'm not that old. But, um, yeah, man, this this film just kicked ass. It was like right along the same lines as a lot of the other films that I liked around that time. Like, uh, I don't know, you probably hate for me to compare it to movies like this, but uh, Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, it reminded me a lot of films like that, stylistic films like that. And I'm not going to say any of the people in this or the director because I'm going to make a fool out of myself. Um, I can't pronounce these guys' names, and I really would not do them justice. So if you're interested in any of the, the director or the, uh, any of the folks in the film, go uh, look it up somewhere. But yeah, this uh, gained cult status when it, when it came out, and it's from... It's a it's a Danish film, and it actually takes place in uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. So, cool film. Thanks for the recommendation, Dante. I know you've you've wanted me to watch this one for a while. I really enjoyed it. But it it centers around uh, like a small time drug dealer. Uh, Frank is his name, and you know you see him go throughout his daily business. You know, selling drugs, doing drugs, and just hanging out, getting drunk party and stuff like that and he he's dating or not not really dating but um he, he's kind of got a secret crush on this prostitute that he's friends with and her name is uh shit Vic her name is Vic and uh, they have kind of an awkward relationship throughout the whole movie it's kind of like he well I'm sorry she's not a prostitute she's a champagne girl I'm not sure exactly what the difference is, but apparently there's a big difference uh, be between the two. Because champagne girls look down on whores. So uh, they both have sex for money, but I think you just make more money as a champagne girl. If any of you guys know, let me know. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, he, he kind of has a, a crush on her, and you know, you, you kind of feel sorry for them throughout the whole film as far as their relationship goes because it's like he can't. Uh, He's, he says in the movie that he doesn't want the girl to be a, a prostitute. So uh, it's an awkward, strained relationship between them throughout the whole movie. But he, you know, does some drug deals. And he eventually does this big drug deal with a big mafia drug lord boss guy, and he he does it. He gets the, the drugs fronted to him, and he's going to go sell the drugs, make a profit, and pay the dealer, the, the the crime boss dealer guy. But what happens is he gets the drugs, he goes to do the deal, and the cops show up, and he takes off running and winds up in this big body of water and has to, he, he dumps all the drugs out. I think it's heroin is what he's dealing with, but he dumps all the drugs out, so he doesn't actually get charged with anything because all the drugs are gone, but the cops go bust him and, you know, they keep him, they hold him for a, a day or so and they really let him go knowing that he, he owes money to his, to his, to his boss. So it was a ton of money. I'm not sure what that would be in American dollars, but it's a shitload of money for, um, 200 grams, I think is what it was, but it was a lot. And, he has to get the money, and he he goes, and first of all, he beats the shit out of his best friend because he thinks he's the one that told the cops the story. I'm not sure if he did or not. I don't know if the movie elaborated on that, but that was the first thing that he did when he got out was going. He, he beat up his, his best friend, or you, you, you assume it's his best friend. And then he just goes throughout the movie just making like really terrible decisions, and he's trying to make the money back, but he's basically fucking everyone over that he knows. And uh, his relationship with Vic gets strained, and I don't know. They, 
you keep wanting them to get together and it's just it, it's on and off the whole time but what I like most about this movie is I think it's realistic as far as the things that he does because you know it's not not typical when you when you're dealing with someone who's like you know addicted to drugs and they owe a lot of money they're not gonna be thinking rationally so I think that was a really cool aspect of the film it, it, it seemed like it, it was very realistic but um Check it out. It's an awesome crime drama. And yeah, you know, at that point, you, I'm not going to spoil the ending, but you can kind of imagine what happens if he doesn't pay up. So, um, yeah, just a really cool film, dude. Thanks for the recommendation. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again tomorrow. Peace.